Well, first of all, let me say that I'm sorry for my English. You might not be able to understand me, but I'll try. So bear with me. Um, the the idea project is uh, simple. I just wanted to make a um, more useful helping hand than this one because this is the basic one or the normal one. So I couldn't um, use it very well. I mean, I don't like it. It's um, not useful at all for me. So I decided to make my own. So to make this, what you will need is a piece of wood like this one. I'm using this one, which is um, the ones you can buy to cut stuff like vegetables and food and stuff. I got this one for two years, so I thought it was very cheap. And um, you have to look for one that it's uh, not too thick and not too thin. Not too thin, because if it's too thick, it will be too hot, uh, too heavy. And if it's too thin, it will be not heavy enough and it will move around, so you don't want that. You can also get one like this, or I don't know, any kind you want. I just prefer this because it looks nice and was pretty cheap and I can use this for another thing. Also, you might want to have one piece of tile. This one is really big, but you can get like a small one. So you can put it in the center, so when you solder, it doesn't burn the, the wood. But, I don't know, it depends if you like it or not. Also, you'll need, you'll need pliers to bend some stuff and um, also you can have, this is optional, you can get fans and some LEDs also you'll need uh, alligator clips optional too, this is a magnifying glass so you might want to have one of those, one like this which is the one I'm going to use because it's vendable or I don't know how you say that also very important, you'll need a um, hanger, metal hanger, this is for the clothes, I don't know if you can get them everywhere, but anyway, you can use any kind of um, metal cable, I guess. This one, it's strong enough, but you can bend it, so it's very good. Also, this is optional too, this is a tubing, here it's used to water plants, so you probably will be able to find this. This is to put the, the um, metal thing inside, so it, it doesn't hurt when you bend it. But you'll see. Also, you might want to have one of these, so you can unscrew this and screw it to your table, and you'll have everything to solder right there. Oh, and yes, a couple of screws. I'm using three because I'm going to make three of them. You can have two or four or whatever you want. And I think it's, that's basically it. Well, first of all, what we're going to do is to cut this uh, wire into three pieces. But first, we need to measure how long we want them to be. I suggest you to like cut them in three equal pieces because at least for me it works fine. If it's too long it doesn't matter because you can later cut it in the size you want, so it's better if uh, it's longer than you need, than what you need. So you cut it three pieces like this one and then you have to bend it with another plier. With this kind of plier it's easier. You just go to the end of it and then bend it like this. I don't know if you can see it. So, when you have your screw, it fits, it fits right on it, and then you screw it to the table. Well, I screwed the wires to the table. You can do this at the end, but um, I did it now so I can check if it's long enough or uh, it's too long so I can cut them and stuff and see how it looks like, what it looks like. Also, you can put this here, the ones on the sides. It depends on you. If it prefers there or on the other side, it doesn't matter. Um, now, what we're gonna do is um, check the length and cut the tube in the same size. So, you can put them inside. And 
unscrew them again so you can do that and put the alligator clip now what we need to do is to cut some tube and put the wire inside of it like this make sure it goes to the end and make sure you don't cut it too short you want it to leave a little bit um, longer than the wire so now what we're gonna do is uh, get the alligator clip put it inside make sure it's in the right direction and uh, now what you can do is use the alligator is to press here and like get tight it works but I think it's better if you get some hot glue and glue it all inside so I would do that so for now I just I'll just do it like this but I recommend you to use a hot glue and that's basically it and now you screw it here and you have one of your clips and the same thing for the other one now what we need to do is to put the LEDs on the fan if we are going to have fan you don't need it but if you want to and what I did is to use this one so we can put the um, wire through here and the cables dry in there so what I did was to put three LEDs one in each hole and I'll solder they are in series so we can use 12 volt for the motor and also for the LEDs so I put, the, I put them in series so the long lead goes here then a short lead with long lead and then short lead with long lead cathode and anode together so that's what I'm going to do so I'll solder this and also I'll put some uh, hot glue inside and you might not need it but I would recommend it well if you solder they won't go out I don't think you'll need it but if you want you can put some hot glue so they don't move at all and for now we'll do that and I'll explain it well once you've soldered uh, all the LEDs you can add a resistor or you can add the resistor at the end of the cable I recommend you to do it here also you can paste this here like glue them everything so it doesn't move and also you need to solder a cable so you can power all the LEDs I use any wire it doesn't matter and um, you have to isolate this they, they shouldn't short each other you know they shouldn't sh touch each other so make sure you isolate that and now you, what you're going to do is put everything through this tube and also to put the wire inside too and paste it right here in the hole that you get left okay and that's it well once you've uh, glued everything you need it to glue you end up with something like this so what we need to do now is uh, screw them and that's basically it also you might want to add um how do you call that um switch to um, turn on and off the LEDs and the fan and well, stuff. And this is it. This is how it's supposed to work. Um maybe you want to add uh, more LEDs or bigger LEDs or maybe another um arm or a gla uh, magnifying glass. Mine it's you can just add it here with a you can put it on and take it off or you can add another arm and use the smaller one this one you can add it if you want but that one works fine for me also if you are um soldering as you can see I don't know if you can see it from here but I'll try wait <laughs> when you solder if I put this here all the smoke goes there goes to the see it goes over there and it doesn't go to your face so I think it's very cool so you can put things in here and also if you get um like a holder you can put uh, your components there and pick them up and put them there and stuff and I don't know I hope you liked it and thanks for watching